Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking, and I plan to be enjoying, Anderson Valley's Winter Solstice, a winter warmer, not from Talking Cedar Brewery. So this, this afternoon I was out with uh, my oldest doing half birthday things. I don't know if any of y'all ever did half birthdays, but growing up it was a special time when dad would take whoever was celebrating their half birthday out for just them time. Great, lots of fun. Um, I have a lot of really good memories of that growing up. Um, bowling, bicycling, um, going to ranch kitchen, <laughs> little uh, diner in my hometown, uh, other good things like that. Uh, this afternoon, I took my oldest to uh, uh, a go kart, an indoor go kart track, and he did about as well as I did the first time <laughs> I was at a go kart track. But we had a lot of fun, and it was a good time. It's always good hanging out with the kids. Uh, before we get any further, though, hey, if you're enjoying my content, could you, you know, hit the like button and the subscribe button? That'd be great. And get those TPS reports in by Saturday afternoon, please. Um, <laughs> on the way home, we stopped by Northwest Beer Works. At least, I did. We stopped, but I went into Northwest Beer Works. Not the only thing they had on tap, but looking at the things they had on tap, this seemed like a good pick. It's the Anderson Valley uh, Winter Solstice, Winter Warmer. I've had this before in the can. I've never had it on, from, on tap. It's out of California. Being a winter warmer, I expect it to be higher alcohol. I expect it to be malty and possibly to the side of maybe a bit sweet, uh, just because that's what you expect in a winter warmer. A winter warmer is a warming beer that is alcoholically warming, mostly. Uh, you'll expect it to be a really good cold weather beer. And while I am outside, it is chilly, so I expect it to warm me up, except I just pulled it out of the refrigerator. So I expect it to cool me down while warming me. Uh, something? Anyways, just pouring it, there's some really, really delicious breadiness, like a dark, rich fruit bread. Um, not quite a fruit cake, uh, but, but that kind of level of dark malt. Not, not a stout. This is a this is a brown ale. This is definitely uh, an amber or brown ale. Um, oh, I would also expect it not to be hopped hardly at all. That's, you're not looking for a hop character in a winter warmer. You want a smooth, easy drinking, warming, comforting beer for cold evenings kind of thing, right? That's what a winter warmer is. Uh, but, but yeah, some dark sweet breads. Maybe a bit of like uh, apple butter. You know, when you, when, you, when you cook apples past the applesauce phase, you keep cooking them, cook, 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 cooking them until they get to this dark brown and very, um, very smooth paste that's apple butter. And it's the best thing. Well, it's one of the best things on this earth. Um, it's, it's super intensely apple and kind of spiced and, and just cooked down. I'm wondering if some of the hops they used were Goldings, uh, which would make sense. Um, English hops, as in UK hops, tend to be uh, tend to be earthy, and that kind of flavor would be a very nice complement to a warming, sweet, roasty, malty beer. And based on a few other beers I've had, where I detected this. Um, kind of earthy note. I wonder if that was used here. In fact, give me a minute. Okay, I'm back. So, no, not not Kentish Golding's hops. But the hops they did use, which were uh, Northwest Brewer and Chinook, are noted for being earthy. So maybe they're a U.S. version that has similar um, characters, uh, characteristics. But yeah, it's very nice. It's a delicious smelling beer. So let's uh, see how it tastes. Mm. 
my youngest is making faces at me through the back door. <laughs> now she's dancing. Now she's grinning. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, so like other beers that I've had, this one, um, it tastes a lot like it smells. With the addition of maybe some golden syrup, almost a brown sugar touching into molasses. Um, but it, it's just, it's all in on that bready, malty character. That's really nice with just a, a bit of the earthiness from the hops to give it a little bit of an interesting finish. Um, the It starts off with this kind of dark brown toast bread with maybe some golden syrup. If you never had golden syrup, um, you can pick it up usually in like the UK aisle. <laughs> like there's a UK aisle. In the UK aisle of some grocers, a, a bigger grocery store, maybe a specialty grocery store or a, um, a higher end grocery store. Um, if you have a cost plus world market, they always have it. There is a thing called Lyle's. It's usually Lyle's golden syrup. And it's a syrup. Duh. And it's golden colored. Um, and it has a very nice flavor. Uh, it's not, you know, your butter syrup. It's not your um, Ms. Butterworths or anything like that. And it's definitely not maple syrup. It is a sugar syrup. Uh, and it's golden colored. It's so, because it's golden colored, you can deduce that it's not particularly, um, they didn't cook it at very high temperature. They, they dissolved it. They developed the syrup at low temperature. So the sugars themselves did not, um, did not brown, did not go through the Maillard reaction. So it's a much, it's kind of a lighter flavored syrup. So you're getting that. It's like a, like dark brown bread, like maybe the bread you get at a, at, um, uh, Longhorn Steakhouse, you know, that kind of dark brown oat bread that they'll have that's kind of slightly sweet and that with this Lyle's golden syrup and it's a really nice kind of roasty maltiness without being heavy um, at all it's really nice like that so you get that at the outset and and that kind of fades to uh, maybe a molasses to dark chocolate note and and then it finishes and and it's all gone and there's just maybe this little lingering warmth in your mouth this is a 6.9 percent abv so it's probably at the low end of a winter warmer it's definitely high for uh someone who's used to euro style beers um but it's it's not particularly high for us uh style beers the the earthy hoppiness kind of goes through the whole the whole flavor like is there the whole time and lends this really nice kind of foundation it, it gives you a, a a root on which the rest of the beer is is based and that works very nicely i like that that's tasty stuff yep good beer um you know you don't necessarily think of breakfast for dinner but if i were sitting in front of the fire and someone handed me a toasted piece of dark, rich bread with, you know, syrup and honey on it. Um, I would not be turning it down, and I would be immensely happy. And that's precisely what this is, really. <laughs> and it does it really well. Yeah. I think I'll leave it at that. Anyways, this is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew, drinking Anderson Valley Brewing Company's Winter solstice, winter warmer, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Mm -hmm.